All right, so first video of 100 Days of Code. And if you guys didn't read the first part, then you guys can check that out on prentice.co slash 100 Days of Startup. Um, but yeah, basically it just is, you know, I wanna hold myself accountable, but also make sure to share my journey with everyone that has been there from my last startup um, and kind of give some insight to how things actually go down. Uh, so starting off like with each day, I'll be just, you know, going through my whole day, what kind of what I did, any sort of things that I was struggling with and I'll always keep videos under five minutes. There'll be a transcript for every video on Prentice.co slash Andres of Startup, uh, but the actual videos themselves will be uploaded on YouTube. So if you're a YouTube person, you can always watch them there. Uh, so let's get into it. So in the morning, uh, you know, just did a quick LinkedIn post about 100 Days of start Startup. Uh, didn't get much performance on it, which is weird. I think LinkedIn's catching on to people throwing uh, links in their comments, but it's all good. Um, you know, I'll continue to be posting about it once a week on LinkedIn, but pretty much every day on Twitter. So even even if I get five people viewing, it's fine. It's more uh, just kind of tr keeping track and you know, writing down each thing I did today really helped out with overall feeling of hey, I'm doing a lot, and that's probably one of the best parts so far. Uh, so to go into past link LinkedIn post. Um, I got actually did a photo shoot on Saturday, not a photo shoot, but me and my friend Guy were trying to get some good profile pics uh, to you know look professional because it's so important these days. So I finally got that from him and was able to you know make some custom background in Figma and actually updated like three times today. But that is uploaded now, so you guys can see how I look. And initially in the morning also i did some more research on potential show guest so i'm talking to a couple of designers so i'm trying to get a data scientist a product manager and then i have a list of other developers but overall yeah i just want to make sure that the show provides value to bootcamp grads or anybody in tech so it's going to be a huge sort of content channel going forward hopefully it continues to grow uh been hearing a lot of good feedback so far and really just upgraded my internet with new ethernet cable so next stream on 826 with danny thompson will be really good uh and throughout the day also i was trying to edit the copy on the landing page a bit i'm still trying to keep it keep it really simple so you know just quick hey here's kind of what we have so far but then again i'm focused on the user research so a lot of that's probably going to change and the design also will change. Um, I met with this guy, Joseph, Joseph Choi today. He's doing a, great, a lot of great stuff with students right now. Um, he was actually an intern. And then from there, he started just like building a following from Salesforce interns. And now is about to build a community because he has hundreds of, of signups. So that's really some great stuff. And he's been doing cover letter reviews for people, helping them out with getting jobs. And, you know, if you know me, uh, anything that helps people get jobs, like I'm all for it. So definitely someone to watch in the job space. Uh, but back to user research. So doing it, you know, it's going to be tough, but I want to be able to talk one on one with people. So my friend Guy that I mentioned before is also He's doing his final project for Thinkful um, by doing it for Prentice. And for the user research part, he's like, okay, here's a survey. Like, are, do you have like, people to send it to? But surveys just don't provide that kind of conversation and they're pretty like direct and you can't get, you can't get into the nitty gritty and find out the true issues. So that's why uh, I started, I went to Apollo, figured out how to use that today and filtered down to companies, you know, that are what I'm, thinking are, are my target market, which is one to, I mean, 10 to 50 employees that are startups. So, so I'm gonna open the past three years um, located in America. So Apollo is great and affordable if anyone ever needs to find companies or people to reach out to. Uh, and then sent out an email sequence using a template about um, what, what I'm looking for, you know, putting them on a pedestal using the formula from the book, The Mon Test. Uh, so hopefully I'll get some answers from that by tomorrow. Uh, and, you know, even in the middle of it, I, I all that today, I was able to watch the Heat beat the Pacers. So that's always fun. And 
of course, I still I think I have think full three hours a day and I go to the gym every day. So that's part of it. But yeah, so that's day two of 100 days of startup.